गुड मॉर्निंग यर आई हैव कम विद दिस टॉपिक दिस इज ए टॉपिक फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ फिजिक्स चैप्टर इज वर्क पावर एंड एनर्जी एंड द टॉपिक इज वर्क डन बाय द स्प्रिंग फोर्स आई थिंक यू आर फैमिलियर विद दिस टॉपिक वर्क डन बाय द स्प्रिंग फोर्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी ड्रॉन द स्केचेस ओके there are total of four sketches sketch number 1 2 3 and 4 okay so here in the first sketch you can see that there is a spring it is kept in a horizontal position okay suppose a spring is kept on the surface of a table okay and at the end of the spring there is one block having some weight okay and here i have drawn one dotted line this vertical line represents a dotted line it is a dotted line and suppose when there is no force acting on this block okay so that position is called relaxed position okay relaxed position and at that position uh this vertical line represents x is equal to zero position we are we are choosing coordinate system this way okay when it is at when the block is at relaxed position at that time any vertical line can represent the origin or x is equal to zero location along the surface of the table means along the length of the spring okay the displacement of the block will be measured here for this case for this analysis what we are going to do we are going to do the uh we are going to do what we are going to do mix this analysis work done by the spring force means we are going to calculate work done by the spring force okay so here uh if i using my hand if i pull this block in this direction okay so suppose i am applying a force denoted by this here i am showing this f f force okay and since this is external force i am writing f suffix ext ext for external so this external force if i apply on this block so the spring will be stretched you know this thing the spring will be stretched and this is the stretched condition oh sorry 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 not this one not this figure okay i should uh, go to this figure this figure not that one suppose that force is ef xt okay this force is f suffix ext this is the external force so what is the amount of elongation of the length of the spring this is the initial position and this is the final position okay same point we have chosen here this point here this point so this is the amount of elongation denoted by x so this is what this is the displacement of the block means actually uh, what since uh, there is elongation of the spring so block has displaced from this position to this position okay if you do experiment actually experiment so many experiments were done using this spring this is called helical spring okay so after an experimentation uh scientists have got that the force which is being applied on the block is proportional to this elongation okay to this elongation so what we can write f is directly proportional to x okay 
F is directly proportional to X, this external force. And whenever you are applying this much of force in this direction due to uh, Newton's third law of motion, a force in the opposite direction will be acting on the block. And that force is called restoring force. Denoted by this, I am showing here F suffix S. Okay. It is acting in the opposite direction. This is acting on the opposite direction. Okay. So if external EXT, okay, this is proportional to X, therefore this FS also should be proportional to X. Am I right? Because both are same. But since the opposite are directions, so since opposite are direction, uh, sorry, directions are opposite, therefore we can easily write that if ext is equal to minus of fs, because we are using vectors here, vector signs, so you have to put one negative sign in front of fs, f external is equal to fs, because it is acting in the opposite direction. So what we are getting, fs is f external is proportional to x, so fs is proportional to x. Also we can write since uh, this is equal to minus of this, so we can say fs is proportional to minus x. Okay, but ma but mathematically both are same. Okay, if you write fs is proportional to x, that is also correct, and if you write fs is proportional to minus x, that that is also correct. There is no actually difference. Okay, whenever you are using this sign, sign of proportionality. Okay. Now, now what? So, scientists have found that this is proportional to this. Therefore, we can easily write that if S is equal to a constant multiplied by this. So, if S is equal to minus kx. If S is equal to what? If S is equal to minus kx. Okay. Let me put the vector signs also. If S is equal to minus kx. Okay. So this is the force. And, and this is for completion. Okay. I am not going to explain this one. This is the initial position. This is x equal to 0. Okay. And this is the compression. In this case, uh, sorry. In this case, the direction of the external force should be like this. Okay. Direction of external force should be like this because it is compression. So if you apply force in this direction, there will be a reduction in length of the spring. Means compression. Okay. In that case, FS will be acting in this direction. If it will be acting in the rightward direction, okay. Whenever if external is in the leftward direction, so here also you will get the same thing. If is is equal to minus k x. Now you can see that force is not a constant. Here force is not a constant. It depends upon the displacement x. Means force is a variable one. And in case of uh, uh, variable force, you know work done, how to calculate work done, that is known to you. The topic you have studied, uh, work done by a variable force, work done by a variable force. So if uh, work done by a variable force, how this is expressed, W, work done by a variable force, W is equal to integration of Xi to Xf, Fx dx right fx means x means here displacement f is force dx is elemental displacement xi is what initial position and xf is what final position okay so if you replace this fx by this minus x what you will get what you will get here xi here xf and here minus kx write this way 
So what will be the re result? You will get minus k into x f square minus x i square. I mean, uh, let me check whether everything is visible or not. Yeah, everything is visible. Okay, this is the formula for work done by a variable force. W is equal to integration of fx dx, where integration limit varies from xi to xf. xi is the initial position, xf is the final position. So, if you put fx is equal to this expression minus kx, then you are getting this much, minus half k xf square minus xi square. Here, in this case, xi is equal to how much? xi is equal to 0. This position, 0. And xf is equal to x. xf is equal to x. Then what will be the result? Just, what will be the result? Let me write here. Okay. Result will be minus half k x square. This will be the, this will be the result. w is equal to minus half k x square. When? When xi is equal to 0 and xf is equal to x, okay, in that case. And I think this formula is also known to you, okay. Work done by the spring force is equal to this much, okay. Both for expansion and compression. This is expansion and this is compression, okay. So, which formula we have used here? This formula. To calculate the work done. This formula is valid for work done by a variable force. Right? And if xi and xf are having different values, xi is not zero, xi is something else. Okay, a positive or negative value. xf is equal to is a positive or negative value. In that case, you cannot use this formula. In that case, you have to use this formula minus half k xf square minus xi square okay so here you can see that work done is negative okay what is the meaning of that you know this thing meaning is known to you explanation for uh, this negative work done it is known to you okay anyway so this uh, this was all about this topic work done by the spring force Okay, here in this channel, I am going to upload uh, physics, maths, chemistry and biology of class 10 plus 2 level and a uh, few more subjects will be there which are related to the, which are related to mechanical engineering, okay, such as fluid mechanics, heat transfer, engineering mechanics, uh, then thermodynamics, etc. Okay. Okay, and if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and of course, you press the bell icon. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.